In my country, it is uh, very cold. So we eat uh, lots of sajuk, bastorma, this has fat. Then I come to Texas, and it's warmer, and I start to exercise, eat a little better, and feel good. Hey, celebrate good times, come on. Look, I have jazz hands. Oh, you betcha. Up there in uh, Michigan, also Wisconsin, sometimes in the winters, would get so cold that our mustache would actually fall off. That happened. And here is how cold it got. Some of the ladies' mustaches fell off too. <laughs> I'll tell you, brother, that's cold. You know what? I just remembered something. I remember in 70, it was 1976, America was only 200 years old. A lot of people don't realize it will get cold in Texas. And I walked from my house to the tractor, which I'd say was about 50 yards and about 15 feet before I got to that tractor, my nipples exploded. The doctor said they ain't never seen anything like it. And uh, they grew back in the springtime. You know, I was just remembering another time where it got so cold, it hit, the air hit my forehead. That's why I wear this hat here. And the air hit where, that is where your frontal lobe area is located. It hit me, the wind was so cold hitting my forehead for an entire week. I did not have a thought, not a one. Now my neighbor over here, he does yoga and he meditates and everything and he told me that that was actually a very zen thing to happen where you can clear your mind and not have a thought it just happened again yep not a thing it's really very peaceful Okay, box plate down and flaps up. It's time for the mail call. Here we go. Looks like a cat's asleep on top of my head. All right, what I've decided is that every single video, I'm, I'm going to do a mail call. I'm going to share a letter or a package. Actually, I need to do about two or three in each video just so I can catch up. I brought one to... Here's the sign of the over 50. When you start looking like a third base coach giving signals, or Columbo. You know, I'm sorry to bother you. I can't seem to find that ladder. The problem is I have too many pockets. Ah, ah all the letters, all the postcards are incredibly kind and sweet and funny and inspiring. And I'm going to share them in every video. Before I was going to do a dedicated video about mail call. And I realized that's going to be an hour long video. So I have to just space them out throughout my videos. Or as that very sweet woman in Pflugerville, Texas said in her letter, your show. I have a show. I like that. Is that wild? I sense it's from Christina. Love it. It reads, hello. From I felt like Casey Kasem just now. Hello, I'm Casey Kasem. And my next letter reads, hello from snowy Ontario, Canada. I'm a new subscriber and I just found your channel recently. My brother is a police officer and I have forwarded a link to your page to him. Your positive and friendly way of interacting with people is what I want to take home from your videos into my daily life. Thank you. I am taking my life into a new direction right now and I want to serve others. I just got my driver's license and I'm applying to be accepted into a nursing program. My mom was a nurse. They are very near and dear to my heart. And, and they're the ones who get us healed, by the way. The doctors fix us, the nurses help us heal. It's a very noble and honorable occupation. I'll be praying and sending you positive thoughts. Thanks for your videos. And this is from Christina. Christina, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to write such kind words. And I like your card. You know, we might actually be related. Are you kidding me? Popsicles, pizza, and cats, and love? Who are you? Get out of my head. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This this warms my heart. You know, originally I was going to put all these on my refrigerator. I don't have a refrigerator big enough, but I have a wall in my office and that's where they're all going. I want to see them. I want to be reminded that the world is a good place. The world is a kind place. The world is a loving place. And that there is still more good than bad. Mmm. 
I'm going to hug it and squeeze it and pet it and love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Christina. Keep going. It gets a little, the sand gets a little deeper and it's a little bumpy there, but. So fun. <laughs> Joy, they grow up so fast. No. Our She's girl so just took her first scooter ride. She's beautiful. <laughs> Here she comes. Here she comes. She is so grown up, so beautiful. Oh, oh. yeah, she oh. just hit a tree. Guys with their girls' glasses. It's like a new thing. Look at this. <laughs> Look, it's my friend. My name is Scott. <laughs> Richard. Richard, pleasure, man. Now, do you have an accent at all? Uh, no. You got to now. Oh, I have to make one? Yeah, you have to make an accent, my friend. Come on! Okay. My friend, make an accent. I think I can do this. this I can do nice. a Russian accent. Oh. This is very nice. He's very nice. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, you forget it. Even the babies can kill you in Russia. They're, very, they're tough. They're tough people. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Guys wearing their ladies glasses. You guys are the best. Who's with those? Chris Danes. Wow! 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 It's been an amazing month at our refuge. Eight medical cases or neglect cases have found forever homes. Okay, so she's had plates put in both front legs, ulcers in the side of her face. There were holes. She had to have her eye removed. She has chronic dry eye. I put drops in um, three times a day. She's had three dentals. She's had um, a bout of pneumonia. She aspirated on her last surgery and two bouts of kidney failure. Didn't she have broken legs? Yeah, plates, broken legs. She's a miracle. She's so, so sweet. Crazy. So this other rescue was going to put her down. They were done putting money in her. I just love my Christine. And all neither of us ever quit talking. But they have one called Zypane, which is all natural. It's rare that we can have visitors at our refuge for a number of reasons. One, we're highly social recluses. And two, if we're in the middle of high heartworm treatments, we can't get the animals excited because it could essentially loosen a larva and become an embolism. So. The peace is important. Cooper's blind. Oh, she's so cute. Look Susu. at her. I've taught her no manners. Lisa, what do you think? Oh, like in heaven. How many do you want? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Kind of looks like you were digging. Aha! Uh -huh. I felt the joystick go a little wonky, loose, and I was also not able to lift up the hydraulics. Hey, I uh, I broke the joystick. I have a P.O. box, but Chief called me and told me that someone had mailed a package to Uncle Mullet to the fire station. All right, Uncle. Uncle Mullet. I like him already. He used electrical tape. All right. Oh, who's oh, got? Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, man. You've got his credit card. <laughs> <laughs> it's on me, Scotty. What is it? Oh, man. What is it? They're going to make me cry. It's a, it's a gift card. It's a Visa card for $125 for the uh, refuge for the dogs. Aw, that's cool. It took me a while to find the right way to start this letter. Enjoy watching your videos. I'm too somewhat of a comrade in arms. I do roadside assistance as well in my own time and on my own dime. I built a truck with lights, supplies, tools. I carry everything from chains, straps, fuel, and fluids. There's nothing more addicting than feeling that you get when you've helped someone. That being said, I've noticed that your endeavors, your personal vehicle, or the side of the road or in the fuel station, but sometimes those sticky spots where you could use some forward warning that you were there, I've included some items to help you on to saving such stranded individuals. I've checked with local law enforcement for proper implement. I hope you find these useful. Oh man, I don't even know what it is and I like it already. That's right, holy crap. Yep. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty cool. He saw me borrowing Larry's tools. 
What a nice guy. Chief, what do you do with people? You thank them. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. I have this little sad, this little sad suction. Just when you're happily convinced everybody sucks, somebody out of the blue does something nice. <laughs> it's like, well, my world was orderly and now... Where'd you get this? How much this, did this, it cost? This was sent. <laughs> this was sent. What? Yes. <gasps> Oh my god, did Chief get to see it? Yeah, I opened it up in front of everybody. $25 to use for the refuge. What? Oh. Now, because of your generous donation, Ru Rusty can finally have dentures. All he wants to do, he just wants to ride in a little pouch on the scooter. This is going to save people and exactly. keep you alive, which is really big. And he likes to kiss you with it. Luckily, good breath, because there's no yeah. teeth. Good breath. Yeah, it's true. No teeth. Oh, so if you have no teeth, you get good breath. Yeah. I need to pull these things out. <laughs> yes, seriously. People have been complaining about my breath for years. Hold on, I got a plan. <laughs> George, things are looking up. <laughs> You're such a good old man. You have to turn those off sometime. We can't just leave them on all the time. Mel Malo, the thing you don't understand is that a crisis could break out any minute now and you gotta be prepared. You gotta nip it. Nip it in the bud. You guys want me to show you some basic karate moves? Here's what you do. Karate chop, karate chop, and then flee! <laughs> I was just talking into my GoPro. I was just well, talking into my GoPro. Why not? I right? mean, what else would you be doing? I'm talking to my friends. These my are my friends. friends. My friends. It's a random wife sighting. Every now and then you run into your wife and it's uh it's a little awkward. Hey Christine! Yeah, yeah, hey! How you been? Good, good, good. You're still married? Good, good. Oh, that's great. To me! Ah, <laughs> better! After 25 years of marriage, the magic is still there between us. Did you say something? No. <laughs> Until I see y'all again, be good to one another. Live to ride another day. Thank you. George, things are looking up. <laughs> it just happened again. <laughs> <laughs>